Hey there, everyone. Welcome to another Terraria Master Mode episode. And in today's episode, the goal is to defeat the Eater of Worlds. In the last episode, we attempted it a little bit, and it didn't go too successful. But also last episode, we got the Blade of Grass. So, the hope is, is that in this episode, we'll head over um, and we'll try our hand at defeating the Wall of Flesh. Or not the wall of flesh. Sorry, wrong, wrong one. Eater of uh, eater of worlds. I almost said eater of souls, but that's not right. Real quickly, I want to check if I can actually just make a summon. Because if I can make a summon for the eater, then I don't have to walk all the way over to uh, deal with him. I need bio powder. Fortunately, I don't think I can purchase vile powder right now. Nope. So either we have to wait for a blood moon or find our way. Well, we've got to go with the corruption. We could move the, uh, the dry aid to the corruption. But honestly, um, it's a lot of effort for some corrupt, some powder, some vile powder. So I'm going to either wait for a blood moon. Uh, and while I wait for blood moon, I'm just going to head back here. Now, the goal with the boss is that I actually want to get up to the arena I built. And I need to move around. So I, I can't stick in one spot and ex and fight from there as I'll get overtaken. I also need to remember that I have this dash ability. And I can use this dash ability to do damage but also to get out of the way quicker. So, I need to remember that I have these things at my disposal to deal with the Eater of Soul, Eater of World. Again, wrong name. I also have to remember that I have the potion, which I don't know if I can keybind. Right, when we get over to the arena, um, I'll check if I can keybind them. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. That can be a big help if I can... Not keybind them, but if I can just hit a button on my controller to drink a potion. I like this sword a lot better. Um, in the recent update, when they updated a bunch of the swords, they, they did a bunch of good things to them. That makes them a lot nicer than they were. And we're here. And I should have probably brought a bed so I could have set my spawn, but it's whatever, to be honest. Even if we don't kill the Wall of Flesh, or not the Wall of Flesh, again, wrong name, the Eater of, of Worlds, um, at least I'll be able to um, destroy some segments, which is the hope, because I think each segment in, in itself drops um what are they called scales gosh i'm having a rough day and the scales would be good either way because then i can make a pickaxe i can go get the volcano Let's see what this how good this is The 9 plus speed in critical... Yes, it's way better. Uh, if you remember earlier on in the series, I tried to... Uh, the episode I defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, I tried to use dynamite. But the problem with you trying to use dynamite is it takes a little while to explode. And... That's precious time that could be used actually doing damage 
and not just sitting there hoping the dynamite will explode. Also, what are these? There are swords in the ground, but... Did I seriously get the frozen effect because I'm in icy biome? Are icy water and regular water not two different things? That's the devourer. Alright, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna throw that away. No. Head underwater real quick. That gives me enough time to craft. I'm making a campfire real quick, just so that I can get the campfire effect. Oh, okay. Also, there's a possibility if I get a bed that I can just teleport up to the surface. Um... Which might be a good idea. Alright, that was dumb of me. But now I'm one orb away, and then I can just start fighting. It's raining, which is annoying. Hope was to defeat the Eater of Worlds because it's currently blocking a lot of progression. Because um, we don't have shadow scales, so we can't get any Hellstone, we can't get any Meteorite but, um, because. We well, we could get meteorite in theory, but we would have to defeat. There's a big roundabout way of getting it. We would have to defeat the um, we have to defeat Skeletron or not Skeletron. Yeah, I think it's Skeletron. Yeah, Skeletron. Um, and get to the dungeon and get the shadow keys to unlock the chests in hell, and then we would have to get lucky and get a chest that has meteorite in it but that's a huge roundabout way of doing it and it kind of defeats the purpose because i still have to defeat another boss and i would rather defeat that boss with the volcano because the volcano has some i think the volcano has a pretty nice ability and it can burn so i think it should have a burning effect and then when we get into the dungeon we'll be one step closer to getting uh the last component for the true knights or not true knight's edge just knight at knight's edge I think I'm ready to fight. I gotta be careful not to take damage. At least not that much damage, because I cannot afford... I just had the most jarring effect. I thought I was opening the map. It's my brain imagine the map being open, but in reality it wasn't. Ooh. 
The sword's nice because it can deal with huge amounts of mobs, uh, of uh, enemies at once. Um, hold on, I'm not ready. This is nice because this can deal with one enemy really efficiently. We did break it apart though, which is a good sign, which means that we might have gotten some shards. Which means if we have enough, we can make a, a D, demonite pickaxe or shadow pickaxe, whatever it's called. But now we have to walk all the way back in order to check. And if we can, we can go down to hell, get a little bit of hellstone, make the volcano and try this again. But. That's ultimately the goal is to defeat the Eater of Worlds. Eater, yeah, Eater of Worlds. But you see, we were doing serious damage. I think the problem with the arena was far too small. So I think what I'm actually going to do um, is I'm actually going to wait to defeat him. Um, or I'll keep fighting him until I can get what I need for the volcano. But I'm going to wait to fight him until I can get bio powder from the blood moon. And then I'll get some bio powder and I'll make the summons. And then I'll make an arena up here. And I'll fight him up here instead. Because that should give me more space to fly around. And just kind of do my da the damage that needs to be done in less confined space. Because it should allow me to just fly around. And if we do it higher up in the sky, then... He's kind of exposed, but we can't do it too high up. Because I think there's a limit to the biome. The blizzard. Here we are now for the moment of truth. Okay. A little bit of demonite. Oh, do they not drop shadow scales? Oh, let's see. Where? Where are they dropped? No, we just got. Apparently, it is supposed to drop, but we just didn't get lucky enough, apparently. So we can try to defeat him again, but I don't know if we have enough shadow orbs. Gosh, okay. Me alone.
I don't know if we can get more shadow orbs. I don't think we can. Although there might be more. annoying how many there are. That was close. Ah, this goes farther down than I thought. Oh, wow. Oh. There is an orb down here. But um, this is kind of crazy how deep this hole is. This is this is insane. Oh, we are lucky. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to summon it yet. Gosh, dang it. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Okay. Oh, my head. Okay, we're gonna get some vial powder somehow, because... I know that there is no way that I'm going to be able to sit through and wait for Blood Moon. So we're just going to come over here into the corruption by and by our house, and I'm just going to build a quick place. I'm going to buy... I don't even have money, do I? I barely have any money. We'll figure it out. There's no way I'm going back for Shadow Orbs, and I'm going to build an arena out here, up on the surface, because I should have a better chance. I think. Alone. I'm just using whatever I have. We'll look fine, I promise. There we go. First step down. The crafting bench. And the white. A bond.
purpose of missing a, a light source. How about that? Finally, you ready? Oh. Interesting. How am I supposed to get vial powder? Okay, vile mushroom. Elderberry. Oh my god, because I died. Over and over and over again is how I how it happened. We do do substantial damage to the Evo world, so we can kill it. We definitely can kill it, we just need to try. Requires a bottle, you say. Oh, it does not seem like I have the necessary ingredients. Hold that. Look for the. I have a container of plants. Well, I don't think I keep vile mushrooms around. only make a few vile powder. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna work this out and we're gonna go find some more mushrooms. If not this time, we're probably not going to be able to fight him again in this episode. We might be able to, but I'm probably going to have to spend the next little while preparing. Uh, we need to build a better arena, and we need to get the ingredients so we can make a few summons. And we're probably going to do the uh, Eater of Souls a fair few times, because we're going to need... Okay, we need at least six of the vile mushrooms. 
which only grow here, and I've only found two in total. And I need like however any however many more. I kind of just instinctively throw them away, but I probably shouldn't throw away things. There's gonna be a limited supply of things. I wonder if there's a better way to get vile mushroom. I'm gonna run over here and see if we can get the vile mushroom in the other biome. And then maybe I'll run past and see if there's more to the corruption. Or maybe find the, the dungeon and whatnot. Zombies, hey. We hit the jackpot. Wow, mushroom. And it looks like there's a desert this way. We definitely hit the jackpot. That's a good amount. Not a lot, but I think we can make a planter. I have been a little wild over here, I guess. Looks like I kind of ended my journey over here. I don't remember traveling over here, to be completely honest. Maybe I reached a dungeon. Hold on. Three. I mean, I'm not mad. I need the vile mushroom. Three. And deserts to go with the chiba. Three's kind of crazy. Four would be even crazier. And we found the temple, or the dungeon, sorry. I'm gonna keep heading this way. Ocean bound to be over here. A search. Right. Um That's a bunch of vile powder. So actually 
Um, we're not gonna fight him this episode. But next episode, we I'll head. Sorry, I'll head over and I'll get prepared, and I will fight the um, eater of worlds. I'll prepare and get some uh, tools, and then we can attempt to fight him. So that that will be fun. And that would be very interesting to see if it's possible. I hope I, I, hundred percent think that we have all the tools necessary. We just I just need need to practice or at least get better. I need to um, pay attention. Remember that I have um, the shield. The eye. What's it called? Yeah, the uh, shield of Cthulhu. So I need to remember I have that. I need to remember to avoid his dax. Build an arena in the sky is what we'll do tomorrow. I'll build an arena. I'll get prepared. I'm going to go find more mushrooms. And maybe we'll attempt to fight him tomorrow. Or maybe I'll wait. Um, I'll wait. Uh, I'll probably do him tomorrow. I'll, I'll fight him. It shouldn't take that long to prepare. We just need to build an arena on the surface, get all the things for the arena, um, get some potions ready to buff up beforehand, and just be ready to avoid his attacks. So, that's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe, and remember to ring that bell to be notified of all future uploads. I don't have anything else for you, so with that, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!